How's it going? It's Jay with Aquastar Distributors. This one's gonna be about how to change the duckbill valves inside your VG4 JW vacuum generator. I can't stress enough how important it is to do preventative maintenance. So maintenance interval on these is approximately every two to four seasons. If you live on there full time, you're gonna to wanna to change these every year. We also have these in a bunch of composting toilets made by a fabulous Canadian company called Sancor. So this video will be helpful for you as well. One thing I wanna mention is we're doing this preventatively. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself Dometic's three-in-one holding tank. Well, it's a toilet bowl cleaner and holding tank treatment, okay? Um, it comes in this nice box and you'll pop the corner off like that. You drop the whole packet right in the toilet. It dissolves, it kind of effervesces, excuse me. And it has some sort of an enzyme microbial activity in it that helps to break down waste. So what you would want to do is drop that in the toilet, let it dissolve, clean the bowl. Uh, we don't want to use a toilet brush. Flush it down and then shut the power off to your system. If you have the luxury, let it sit overnight. If you don't, just follow it up with four or five bowls of water. That'll help everything get clean at, cleaned out and make the job that much less unpleasant, okay? If you waited too long, this is not fun. It's gonna be dirty. Uh, we use this to train technicians, but I'm gonna show you how to change the duckbill valves. So there are four, two in the discharge fitting and two inside the tank here, okay? This may not be how yours is installed. If yours is attached directly to a holding tank, uh, you may have to unmount it. Um, but on this particular model, uh, with this installation, this is what we got. So you're probably gonna need a channel locks. Okay. Try not to destroy these fittings. They're a right hand thread. You have one there, okay? And something to be aware of, this is what happens when you over tighten them. Again, this is a training display that we use with students. Probably difficult to see, but the duckbill valve is actually damaged and that can cause issues. So spec on all of these fittings is uh, hand tight, back off a quarter turn. There's the next duckbill valve. Okay, and that's why we wanna do this preventatively. This is nice, clean, fresh water. That could have been something else. Probably don't wanna have that happen. All right, so that's the two discharge. And just for the sake of time, I'm, I'm actually gonna put those back in. Uh, we don't care if they're north, south, east, west. That doesn't matter. All right, we'll snug that up. Here, I'm, I'm basically working at a real comfortable height. I can get good leverage. That's as tight as you wanna make them, all right? If you're in the bilge and somebody's holding your feet and you have no leverage, yeah, we'll put the channel locks on, all right? This is not an impact driver. This is an electronic screwdriver. I don't recommend using power tools on these. An impact gun will damage this, so. Um, just for the sake of the video, okay. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You'll pull the four seven sixteen screws out. Sometimes that one can be troublesome. Got a little vacuum on here. I like to put a little bit of grease on these threads. Um, just for the next time you go in there for service. God forbid we have a bellows failure or something, we can get a lot of corrosion in there. Okay. Our other two duckbill valves, one right there. The next one, sometimes you'll have to grab that with the needle nose. Okay. Again, we don't care if they're east, west, north, south. One duckbill valve going back in the duckbill valve collar. I usually inspect this pump to tank O-ring, grease it or change it, okay? We heard it sucking air as soon as we picked it up, so we, 
uh, it was holding vacuum. It's important to get a good seal here. Okay, so we have one duckbill down the collar. We're gonna put another duckbill valve on top. Very carefully grab our pump. Bolt everything back down. So, I kind of torque it down, just get it very lightly snug, and put the rest of my hardware back in. Walked a little bit. We don't want to cross thread these, and we don't want to pull the female threaded insert out of the tank. Okay. Do as I say, not as I do. I recommend a quarter inch socket, okay? Another thing to be aware of, there is a square gasket. On the discharge fitting, yours could be a little unique, uh, but be careful. Sometimes there's another fitting in here, all right? We wanna clean that, grease it, and or replace it, okay? Now, the most important thing after you change the duckbill valves, flush one to two full bowls of water down, all right? If you guys need duckbill valves, you have any questions, about changing your duckbill valves, maintenance on your system. We got a bunch of videos, more to come. We really appreciate when you support us. It helps us create more content like this, and we love keeping you guys out on the water. Thanks.